Hey, I'm Maya Faber and in this tutorial I will show you how to easily create a seamless pattern in Procreate. With this method that we will use here today, you can create all sorts of patterns. From the most simple ones to more complex patterns with many layers, colors and motifs. But in this tutorial I will show you a very simple pattern because it's the technique that we want to learn and not focus on the drawing style or the type of pattern. So the very first thing that we will do is to create a new canvas. We will use a square canvas. The size you use really doesn't matter. It depends on the purpose of your pattern. But I'm using a 3600 pixel square here. So let's get started. We will create an action that will allow us to make the action repeat later on. So grab a color, any color in your color palette will do. I'm using this pink here and will tap and drag to fill my canvas with the color. Tap the transform tool and what you want to make sure is that you have uniform selected and turn on the magnetics and snapping. Then we tap and drag in one of the corners to decrease the size of the square so that it's half the size of the original and will fill a quarter of the entire canvas. For me, this is a square that is 1800 pixels in width and height. And you want to make sure that the square is perfectly aligned with the edges of your canvas. So when you see these yellow lines, you know that it's the right position. Tap the transform tool to place your square. Then we want to select the layer with the square. You can select the layer in a few different ways. Tap the layer and tap select or tap and hold with two fingers in the layers panel. When you have the layers selected, tap save and load in the selections panel. Tap the little plus sign in selections and you have saved your selection number one. Then tap the transform tool again to select your square and move it to another corner of your canvas. Drag the square to the top right corner, for example, and make sure that you have your yellow guidelines lining up so that your square is perfectly aligned to the edge. Then tap the transform tool again, the layers panel, tap and hold with two fingers to select that layer, save and load and the plus sign in selections to save your selection number two. Once again, tap the transform tool, drag down your square so that it fills the bottom right corner of your canvas. Make sure your yellow guidelines are aligned and then tap the transform tool again. Tap the layer in the layers panel, tap and hold with two fingers to select that layer, save and load, then the little plus sign once again, and here we have saved our selection number three. Lastly, tap the transform tool again, drag your square to the bottom left corner, tap the transform tool to deselect and the layers panel, tap and hold to select that layer, save and load in the selections tool, the plus sign, and you have saved selection number four. So now we have prepared to create the actual repeat of this pattern. What we can do now is just to clear this layer because we don't need that square anymore. So swipe to the right on the layer, tap clear to clear that layer. The first thing that I always do when I create a pattern is to add a background layer, a background box that fills the entire canvas. So I will do that with any type of color. Let's just go for a cream white for this example. Tap and drag to fill your layer with the color. Next, we will draw some motifs on a new layer. So tap the layers panel, add a new layer. And here I will just select the color and draw some motifs. I always draw my motifs on a separate layer than my background. And I usually color separate the layers so that all motifs in one color are on one layer. I will draw dots in this example, but you can draw any type of motifs, complex, simple, whatever you want. The important thing is that you don't draw outside of the edge of your canvas. So all of your motifs needs to stay inside of the edge of your canvas. I'm drawing a few dots and then I will add a new layer just to show you that you can create even more complex patterns with more layers with this method. So with a new layer, I will select a color and then I will add some more motifs and I will add a third layer with some more dots in another color. 
So with this method, you can really add as many layers as you wish in your pattern, or at least as many layers as your layer limit in Procreate will allow you to. But in this example, I have four layers, three with motifs separated in colors and one background layer. When you have all of your layers, you select them. You can choose to group them if you want to, or you can select all the layers by tap and drag to the right to select them. I will group my layers here. Then we tap the selections panel to load selection number one. And with the transform tool selected, we tap flip vertical and flip horizontal. Tap the selections tool to deselect and then tap the selections tool again, selection number two, transform tool, flip vertical, flip horizontal. Once again, tap the selections tool to deselect, then tap the selections tool once again, load selection number three, with the transform tool, flip vertical and flip horizontal. And lastly, tap the selections tool to deselect and tap the selections tool once again to load selection four, transform tool, flip vertical and flip horizontal. And here we actually have created our repeated pattern, but we want to make sure to fill out all of this empty space so that you can see where the pattern tile is repeated. If you have created motifs that has a clear direction, top and bottom, you will notice that your pattern is twisted around. So you can either turn around your canvas or as I usually do, tap the transform tool and tap rotate 45 degrees four times to get back to your original direction of your motifs. With the pattern repeated like this, I will start to draw some more motifs to fill the empty space. I tap the layer with the pink motifs and I can just tap and select the color. And I will fill this empty space with drawing some more dots. Tap the layer with a brownish color and add some dots on that too. And lastly, tap the layer with a beige color and add some dots here and there with the beige color as well. If you feel at this point that you see something that is clearly not balanced in your pattern, for example, for me, that would be these two brownish dots that are really big compared to the other ones. You can go in and edit the parts of your pattern that you want to change at this point. So we just erase those and I can draw some smaller dots here and there that are better balanced. And here we actually have our finished repeated pattern. What we want to do now is to try out our pattern. So with the layers selected in the group, swipe down with three fingers, copy all, swipe down again and paste. Now we have flattened an image with our pattern tile. You can also share the image as a JPEG to your camera roll and add that image. It works exactly the same. So to try out this pattern repeated, make sure that you have snapping and magnetics turned on in the transform tool. Tap and drag your square to the half of its size, which for me means 1800 pixels. Drag it to one of the quarters and tap the transform tool to place your pattern tile. Then we'll make a duplicate of that layer. So swipe to the right in the layers panel on that layer to make a copy and tap and drag to the right to place your image next to each other on the canvas. Duplicate your image so that you have four squares. Tap and drag to place them next to each other. Make sure that they are perfectly aligned with the yellow guidelines. And here you can see your finished repeated pattern. So this was a quick tutorial on how to create a seamless repeated pattern in Procreate. If you want to learn more from me and more about how to create patterns in Procreate, I have a bunch of Skillshare classes where you can learn much more in this area. Such as, for example, create an editable pattern in Procreate with color variations, three ways to create a half drop repeat pattern in Procreate and how to create stripes and lines patterns in Procreate. You can check out all of my classes on myafavorite.com slash Skillshare. And I will also share the link in the description of this tutorial. If you're not a member on Skillshare, I will also share a link in the description for a free trial membership. So you can check out my classes and over 30,000 other classes from some of my favorite online teachers. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Maya Faber. If you enjoyed this tutorial, check out my other tutorials here on YouTube and subscribe to my channel. If you want to learn more from me, check out my Skillshare classes. And for a more personal learning experience, you can join me on Patreon. 
You can find all of the links in the description of this video.